Hey, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip and a story because, well, let's just say I've come to a new bit of consciousness about a tool I've been using for a long time and I'm as surprised as anybody about it. Um, in front of me are uh, three versions of something that I use on a nearly hourly basis, if not a minute by minute basis, and that is some calipers. Um, this is the standard caliper. These are my uh, brown and sharp dial calipers. And uh, here, we'll give you a close up of this. These are my brown and sharp dial calipers. And like every caliper, they measure things in three different ways. You open the jaw and that dial tells you how big something is to the thousandth of an inch, to the thousandth. Every one of those markings is one thousandth of an inch. So for reference, your hair is about three thousandths of an inch in diameter. A piece of paper is three to four thousandths of an inch thick. So we're talking very, very small measurements possible with these calipers. And you can measure the, uh, you can measure the outside of something between these two hardened steel jaws. You can measure the inside of something using these two jaws. And out here at the end, between there and there, you can measure the depth of something. Uh, it should follow naturally, of course, that that dimension is the same as that dimension is the same as that dimension. And, and when you open them up, you have three different ways of measuring and comparing things. Again, this is a shop critical tool. I've been using, I bought my first dial caliper from uh, Fox Hardware down on 4th and Mission in 1991. 30 bucks I spent, which is 30 bucks I didn't have. Um, and I used those for 20 years before I retired them. Uh, these brown and sharp dial calipers have kind of, well, I'll tell you a story. So these, are the same as the dial calipers. This is a set of Midutoyo uh, digital calipers. And you can't see anything on the screen right now because the battery runs out. This is my issue with digital calipers. They make things so much easier because you just see the number to four decimal places and the battery runs out. Now, if you want a long lasting set of digital calipers get a Midatoyo because they, as far as I'm concerned, their batteries last for freaking ever. I mean, like years. And yet the battery on this is out because of how infrequently I use it. Um, I don't like replacing batteries and things. It kind of bothers me. That's one thing. Number two, uh, the type of mental machinist I have become because right, there's two ways to make stuff. You make it in your head and then you make it in the world. And for me, it's a, it's a dual operation, right? First I make it in my head, then I make it in the world. And for my head, the dial calipers just, they, they give me more information because it's just like on a carpentry, actually, let me get a piece of, uh, let me get a ruler and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look, there's, there's a progression that happens when you're a carpenter where you stop measuring to a line and you start measuring to like which side of the black mark line that you're measuring to. Literally, like you start getting that fine about it. And there's a way in which the analog dial of dial calipers gives me so much of a better sense of what's being measured than the digital readout. And it took me a long time. I was a digital caliper guy for 20 plus years. But now I'm back to being a dial caliper guy. Uh, this third pair of calipers is a lovely uh, star dial caliper that I've had for a long time. And this is a 12 inch. So these are in general, two of the most common sizes. You've got your six inch calipers and your 12 inch calipers. Right, but I said I had a change of consciousness and it's not about having had a change of consciousness from dial caliper to digital and then from digital back to dial, which has totally happened in my life. No, 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 in the last three weeks, I've been using these brown and sharp dial calipers so constantly and I've been putting them in my apron and using them and keeping them on my body because of how frequently I needed them. I realized they're just a little long for me. For most of the stuff that I'm doing, I don't need six inches. And so I went looking and sure enough, it turns out they make four inch calipers. And here is a beautiful set of Midutoyo four inch dial calipers. Oh, ooh, whoop, got a magnet stuck on there. 
Hoop. There we go. That is four inch dial calipers. Now, if I need more than four inches, well, I've got access to it. It's right over there where all the calipers are stored. But for me, this little guy, it's just, the difference for me between this and this is really significant in terms of hand feel and in terms of the execution of me knowing how big things are and what measurements I want. Um, and the change of consciousness I'm having is, it's never occurred to me before that there might be a better size than the six inch calipers. But because my relationship to the machine tools in the last few weeks has gotten so much more, uh, uh, has, has gained so much more depth, within the gaining of that depth of consciousness about how to machine stuff and accuracy, I discovered in my head that I had a new point of view about calipers. And I, that's always surprising when something, I've been using these for 30 years, and just last week I had a whole new appreciation and point of view about what was necessary for me. This is a long way of saying, um, your relationship to your tools is an ongoing process. Whether you're, you're a musician or a writer or a dressmaker or uh, a, a, a general maker, you have different relationships with each tool that you utilize, depending on its frequency, depending on the version that you've bought, depending if there's a better one that you hope to get someday. Um, but over time, the, 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 the relationship with these tools calcifies. It, it, not in a bad way, it's just like you have a specific relationship with each, each of these tools. And in my experience, uh, for tools that I've been using for a long time, that consciousness doesn't often shift. And yet sometimes it does. And I, I, I'm just, I'm astounded by how happy I am to be utilizing these all the time instead of these. Uh, and frankly, I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to digital calipers on the regular. It's just, I just don't see a need right now. Never say never, they, it might, that could change. But for right now, for me, it's the four inch dial calipers. Thank you guys for joining me for this little tool tip. And uh, well, I'd love to hear your experience with careful measurement devices and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.